The winter storm has passed, but signs of its force are left behind. The cleanup effort underway after powerful winds and rain battered the county. Given the go ahead, local restaurants rush to reopen. Why that doesn't mean they'll be filling those empty jobs just yet. Plus, in a scathing report, why the state auditor says failures at the Employment Development Department may see some Californians paying back their unemployment benefits. ABC 10 News at 6 starts now. From uprooted trees to accidents on the freeway, even a beached boat, yesterday's storm caused widespread damage. And today, the cleanup began. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt. And I'm Steve Atkinson. Our ABC 10 News reporter Jennifer Kastner shows us some hard hit places starting at a gym in Liberty Station where the weather wreaked havoc. Here at the Point Loma Sports Club, the tent behind me is barely still standing. The poles were knocked over. There's caution tape wrapped all around it. The fencing behind it also knocked over. But what they did was they took all of the fitness equipment out from under the tent, put it right next to it. You can see it's not stopping anyone from working out today. So we've got a couple pieces that are damaged, a couple machines. Tuesday, Point Loma Sports Club General Manager Brian Welch gave ABC 10 News a tour of the major mess caused by the dangerously high winds. Last night, the tent originally started here and the wind carried it kind of over some of our equipment, I would say a good 40 feet. Welch said outdoor workout classes will not be interrupted by the cleanup efforts. At Redford's Diner in North Park, crews spent the morning clearing out debris. Outdoor heaters were knocked over and tents torn down. The owner said it'll set him back by about $7,000. Winds were howling overnight. Several trees toppled over, including a palm in South Park that landed on three parked cars. And in Kensington, workers cleared the road after a 40-foot palm crashed on a car. In both cases, no one was injured. Lots of headaches around the county, but Welch at the sports club said he's committed to staying positive despite the damage. And this is just a setback. This is like if you get knocked down, you got to get back up. And the general manager told ABC 10 News they hope to have everything back up and running like before within the next couple of days. Jennifer Kastner, ABC 10 News. And we wish him well. Strong waves rolled in at Wind and Sea Beach in La Jolla earlier today, and our high surf advisory just expired. Meteorologist Angelica Campos is joining us with a look at the conditions right now. Angelica. Hi, Kim. Right now, those are we still have some pretty big waves, averaging between five and eight feet. Although a few hours ago, we still have we still had some waves between seven and nine feet. So it's just gradually lowering as we go into the overnight hours. Eventually by tomorrow, it'll be three to five feet. There it is already expired. Coastal communities no longer under that advisory. The latest storm system continues pushing out of the Rockies into the plains. And the next storm system is going to be warmer in nature, which means heavy rain, potentially Thunderstorms could be impacting our county before the end of the week. We'll break it all down. I'll show you how much rainfall is going to fall in each part of the county and where we could see additional snow as well. Angelica, thank you. From the rain, the wind, and the hail to snow in the mountains, a full weekend's worth of storms brought a mix of winter weather to the entire county. Our ABC tennis reporter Jared Ahrens is at Mount Laguna where the shovels were busy there and elsewhere. A day in the mountains is a perfect way to play in the snow, but you didn't have to come all the way up to Mount Laguna to get a taste of San Diego's Arctic blast. In Alpine, shovels ready to clear snow they rarely see. Sky 10 flew over the East County, showing pockets of white and snow-capped mountains. And 10 News Weather Watchers filled our Facebook page with a flurry of photos and videos. <laughs> Libby Lewis in Pine Valley says the snow wasn't really good for snowballs, but great for Bonnie the doggy to play in. Jeff Von Erst sent us these pictures from Palomar where 10 inches fell. Boulevard saw snow and hail fell across the county from Escondido to Spring Valley, Chula Vista, even Penasquitos. <laughs> On Mount Laguna, families and friends made the most of a social distance day in the snow. This is amazing. She's she's not even three years old and jumped on the sled and went down. I can't even believe it. There is no place like this area. 50 minutes from San Diego. Absolutely beautiful. And just the way it looks today is priceless. Picture perfect for a snow day in San Diego.
if you didn't get a chance to come up and play in the snow, you still have some opportunities. There's another storm expected to blow through later this week. In Mount Laguna, Jared Ahrens, ABC <laughs> 10 News. That is a beautiful sight. Turning to the coronavirus, the county reported another 1,400 cases today, bringing our total to 230,000. Over the weekend, the county says 46 more people died. More than 2,400 San Diegans have lost their lives to the virus. President Biden announced plans to ramp up vaccine distribution in the U.S. He said the U.S. is buying 200 million more vaccines, which are scheduled to be delivered to the federal government this summer. He also announced that weekly vaccination amounts to states will increase from just over 8.5 million to 10 million doses. Those will be distributed to states based on population. The president says he wants to see one and a half million shots a day, but says that will take time. In the meantime, California is simplifying the process for getting a COVID-19 vaccine. Today, state health leaders announced they are reworking the distribution model based on age. Certainly at this moment of scarcity, our focus is to ensure that uh, we have that balance between risk and exposure. They also announced they are considering moving to a third party administrator to handle those vaccines. Once a company is picked, it will then be in charge of allocating doses to providers, including pharmacies, hospitals, pop up sites and more. The state is also promoting the use of the notification system called My Turn. Right now, it's only available in San Diego and L.A. counties. It's supposed to make sure make it easier to make an initial vaccine appointment and find out when you're eligible. As of yesterday, more than 198,000 people in San Diego County have been vaccinated for COVID-19 and just over 37,000 have been fully vaccinated, meaning, that, meaning they have received both shots. It's a flame that turned back on inside of us, you know. Restaurants across San Diego County are setting their tables for the first time since early December. ABC 10 News reporter John Horn shows us how some restaurants rush to reopen now that the stay at home order is lifted. North Park's working class restaurant is celebrating its three year anniversary by simply having guests again. I mean, I thought this was literally going to last till March or April. And then they throw it at the end of January. With Restaurant partner Jeff Kiyama spent the last 24 hours making sure things like TVs and plumbing still worked. We're, you know, shutting off direct TV, limiting our trash pickup, and then really watching the staff and making sure we're able to pump out the food but not be overly staffed. Let's leave it day by day. Today's a beautiful day. I think we'll be fine. Over in Hillcrest, Marco Provino prepared Rustic Cucina to reopen its outdoor patio. The restaurant launched in February 2020, about six weeks before the pandemic hit. We got to see how the business is going. Me and my partner, we got to be here. If we need, we bring some from family to help us. And in the end, despite the governor's surprise announcement, restaurant managers said they were glad to be taking the step in this direction. It's a flame that turned back on inside of us, you know. Leonardo Bauer, GM of Novo Brazil Brewing, said it was like a dream to reopen but it could still be a while before hiring resumes en masse. We were so down in business, in, in numbers and, and, and happiness. Because takeout only wasn't cutting it. John Horn, ABC 10 News. The latest numbers show that county bars and restaurants cut nearly 9,000 jobs when the latest stay-at-home order went into effect. The state's Employment Development Department knew it had uh, key operational issues for 10 years, but still failed to prepare for the pandemic's economic downturn. That's according to a new report from the California State Auditor. The report says that lack of preparedness left the department unable to effectively serve claimants and opened it up for fraud. The EDD responded to the pandemic surge by suspending certain eligibility checks. The auditor says that move may require some Californians now to repay their benefits if they are retroactively found to be ineligible. Among other things, the auditor says the state legislature needs to require the EDD to devise a recession plan to prepare for the next economic downturn. A group of lawmakers called for an audit last September after months of complaints from people struggling to get their benefits. 
ABC 10 News has exclusively covered the issues of the EDD from unanswered phone calls to frozen benefits. You can find those stories and unemployment resources on our website at 10news.com.